G'day everybody, where's Wally here? Well, this might just be a short one today. Three little things I wanted to cover. The first one was Scott Manley the other day released a little bit of a video. It was taken from the moon of the Earth during the eclipse. So that was pretty awesome. Yeah, check that one out, guys. You could In orbit of the moon right now, there are a couple of amateur satellites. Well, you know, there are a couple of small-scale satellites that were launched along with Chang'e 4. And those were be those have managed to take pictures of the eclipse on the surface of the Earth from the Moon, which is pretty special. I think this might actually be the first time we've been able to see an eclipse of the Earth from a body that is eclipsing the body. Does that make sense? How many times do Flatty say, well, why doesn't NASA just point a camera back at the Earth? Well, they did that on their Mars Explorer. It got part way away from the Earth, turned it around, and they got the Earth and the Moon system all in one shot. So cool. And the third one I wanted to talk about was the... Um, I read someone talking about the tires on the Tesla spaceman thing not blowing up. Well, we'll put it this way. Do you think that you could think of something that a um, rocket scientist hadn't already thought of? I mean, these guys have been doing it all their lives and you've just been in it for the last five minutes. So whenever a flatty asks you about the tires not exploding, just ask them this question. How many tires on the Tesla Roadster do you actually see from the cameras on the car? And you can put your answers in the comments down below and let's see if anyone can trust their senses and work out exactly how many you see. Thanks guys, enjoy. And it's at this point as the sun reaches the horizon that we have one of the most challenging aspects of uh, seeing or understanding uh, how the sun sets over the level earth uh, with the horizon apparently cutting off the sun as it goes down. Now remember, as we said, that uh, if we were higher up, then we would actually see further. We wouldn't see any curve. We would just see further. It would still be flat and we could see the sun for longer. That's just a normal, natural, visual phenomenon on any kind of surface. Okay, so if you like that, how about you click and share and subscribe and be the first to get in on the next fun little adventure into destroying the flat earth. Now, while you're doing that, I'm going to literally destroy this little thing here.